welcome back to Storm TV. It's Super Bowl weekend, so you know what that means. Lots of food. So Diego, how many wings do you think have consumed in an average Super Bowl Sunday? Mm, I don't know. My choices are in the billions. Tell us what you think at Lincoln Junior High Digital Storm website on our poll. And today's show, we'll be finishing a new trivia time, Minutes to Win It, and our first LGH Tic Tac. Let's begin the show. Hola, Lincoln! Welcome to the lunch segment with Serenity and Alicia. For breakfast on Monday is cherry frutal, cereal, fruit, and juice. And for lunch on Monday is popcorn, chicken, mashed potatoes with gravy, fruit, and a roll. Did you guys know today is hot National Hot Chocolate Day? That's so cool. Hot chocolate sounds so good right now. I know, right? Have, Have a good, good weekend, Lincoln! Hello LGH, this is Campus News with Diego and Ruben. We would like to thank everyone who participated in the Penny War on behalf of Jason Reese. You have until 3 o'clock today to donate any more. Also, this year's LGH play is Aladdin. Trials will be held on February 6th and 7th, so please see Mrs. Brennan before February 5th. Also, mark your calendars. Next Wednesday is the Geography Beat. Not only that, but the art extravaganza today. Later on today's show, we will be featuring our new trivia question segment, our first minute to win it, and a new segment called LGH TikTok. Stay tuned and enjoy the rest of the show. Back to Trivia of the Week. Last week, the question was, what was Martin Luther King Jr.'s degree in college? The correct answer was sociology. The winner is Ocean Salary. Congratulations. Go down to Miss Nyland Room 105 to collect your Dairy Queen gift card. Did you know this past Monday was actually National Chocolate Day? Really? Well, I have a question for you. How tall is the world's largest cake? To answer this question, go to our LJH Digital Storm website. Under contests. Again, the question is, how tall is the world's largest cake? Come back next week to see if you win. So Mr. Harder, I was walking through the hallway and I just went to the great room and I heard it was from your class in the facts room doing a food truck challenge. What is the food truck challenge? Yeah, so the food truck challenge, um, students got to create their own uh, food truck. Uh, they designed it. They came up with three different items that they were going to sell in their food truck. Um, they researched the ingredients for those items um, online and uh, figured out what they were going to sell it for so that they could make a profit. Well, why was this 7th grade class collect, or selected? Uh, some of the 7th grade math standards are uh, learning about tax, tip, percent markup, um, discount, and so uh, that's the reason I did it with those classes. How did it work out for your class? Uh, I think they did well. Uh, students uh, had to present their food truck ideas, they had to explain the math. Uh, those that did the best uh, got to move on to the second round, which is what you were referring to earlier, where they got to cook their food today. The, how does your experience for your class, and will you plan, or do you plan on doing it for future classes? Yes, yeah, this is about, I think, my fourth year that I've uh, done it, and uh, students seem to enjoy it all overall, especially when they get to actually cook the food. Um, so I think it was a good experience for them to, to learn how they can apply math to the real world. Thank you for, thank you for watching with me and Mr. Harder as Mr. Harder showed us what the food truck challenge was. My name is Mr. Harder. Um, students today are creating their food for their food truck. Uh, we did a project where they had to calculate tax, tip, percent markup, discount. Uh, they pretended that they were creating their own food truck, so they came up with their design, uh, came up with a menu, um, their prices, they researched ingredients at stores and figured out what they would have to charge for them to make a certain amount of money. Um, my favorite part of it is just uh, seeing the students present and then uh, the fun that they're having today of getting to make the food. Oh yeah, my name is Braxton White and um, we're doing the food truck pro project and what we're making is a breakfast burrito. My favorite part of the food truck project was probably um, cooking actually. My name is Piper Frank and I'm Eliana Sweeney and we are making chocolate chip or 
like really chocolatey uh, maple syrup cupcakes with bacon on Here, I'm Hunter K. Oh, I'm Riley Switchenberg. We're making videos on cupcakes. Uh, the favorite thing about this is hanging out with our friends and making cupcakes. Welcome to our brand new segment, LJH Tic Tac. Woo! Where you can be the next Tic Tac star. We'll be coming around during third hour to take small groups. Teachers, you can sign yourself or your whole class up to participate by contacting Mrs. Nidlinger. Let's see our first Tic Tac group. Welcome to Minute to Win It. This is the first time this semester that we're doing it. So, we have Haley Bussey here, and she's going to be our record holder. The rules are, you can't skip, you can't have the same answer twice, and you just can't say pass or anything like that. Okay? So, we're going to start in three, two, one. Besides money, what would you value most? My, my parents. What's your least favorite pizza topping? Uh, pepperoni. What preferred brand of tennis shoes do you want? Uh, Nike. What is your favorite type of donut? Um, powdered sugar. If you had your own rock band, what would it be called? Stars. Name something in the ocean. Uh, sea urchins. What's your favorite city? Um, Plymouth. What's your favorite country? Indiana. What's your favorite country? Oh, USA. <laughs> 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 What's your favorite hobby? Uh, sports. What would you ask the president? Um, how hard is your job? What's your favorite Disney princess? Uh, Elsa. What's your favorite Disney movie? Um, Beauty and the Beast. What would you do if you had won the lottery? Uh, give most of the money to charity, but then I would buy... Just give the money to charity. Call it. You got 13! Congratulations! Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, maybe you'll be next, and maybe you can beat her time. Or er, her score. <laughs> See you next time. This is LJH Sports with Miles Hanzeski and Riley Brown. The Lady Red Storm returned home Wednesday night and won 35-20 versus Argus. The Lady Red Storm traveled on Sunday, to Saturday to Northwood for a tournament starting at 9 a.m. The 8th grade Lady Red Storm were back on Wednesday as they hosted their county rivals, the Argus Lady Dragons. In a hard-fought game, the Lady Red Storm came out on top with a 44-33 victory. Up next, the Lady Red Storm will be competing in the tournament on Nor through Northwood Tournament on Saturday morning. The 7th grade Lady Red Storm B team went onto the road to face Northwood at home. The ladies were successful with a 17-15 win. The Lady Red Storm faced August at home Wednesday night on at 4.30. The 8th grade Lady Red Storm kicked off B team kicked off their season with a thrilling 21-point win over Northwood. It was overall a great team win for the Lady Red Storm B team. Last Saturday, the 7th grade Lady Red Storm B team persevered and ended up winning by one point to bring home the trophy on the tournament. The first game uh, versus Northwood, 20-2. The second game, Ben Franklin, 18-17. This Sunday is the Super Bowl, 49ers versus the Chiefs. Uh, go to LGH uh, Digital Storm site for the poll. How many chicken wings do you think could get eaten on the day of the Super Bowl? Thanks for tuning in for LJH Sports. Thanks for watching Storm TV. Good luck to everyone participating in the solo and ensemble this weekend. Congratulations to the winner of Trivia, Ocean Salary. Thank you, Mr. Edward and Mr. Harder, for joining us on today's show. Don't forget to be amazing. Have a great weekend, Lincoln.